Weird animal cries out for help. Man makes the mistake of investigating. Eric always had a fascination with animals. The country always had so much wildlife just a few miles outside of his hometown in Montgomery, Alabama. But when he grew into an adult, he knew his calling, a veterinarian. He worked hard to pursue this passion. Eric Jackson was now an accomplished veterinarian that did something a lot of his colleagues warned him against, getting too attached to the animals at the vet. Even though his heart could be broken by any animal coming through the doors, that also meant that every recovery story uplifted Eric to greater heights. But at the end of the day, his compassion for animals would be his downfall. He had adopted six stray dogs and somehow managed to maintain his relationship with them and his partner. But he never knew that his compassion would lead him to a life-changing experience. Eric lived a modest life on a large plot of land with a humble house in the center of it all. But the land sat at the edge of a lake, which also meant that he had a boathouse for docking small boats. One seemingly normal Saturday, Eric had the day off of work and decided to spend it outside in the sun. He got out of bed, showered, fed his dogs, and made breakfast for himself and his partner. After finishing up his breakfast, he took a walk outside, where he heard the sounds of an animal. It was coming from the boathouse, but he wouldn't be prepared for what he'd find. Once Eric opened the door to the boathouse, he saw something he had never expected. There was an animal crying for help. But he knew he had to be careful animals could often lash out when they were afraid. He also didn't want to do anything until he assessed the situation. But he had no idea what was about to happen. Eric slowly entered the building and tried to assess the situation. The animal looked like it was stuck in some way. It was between a shelf and the wall. But as Eric got closer, he noticed something about the animal that took him by surprise. It would make him want to run screaming out the door. As Eric thought about how he would rescue the animal, he finally noticed why it was crying for help. It was tangled in a large fishing net. This complicated the situation. He would have to get close to those claws to set it free. Eric slowly breathed in and out. He was experienced with animals, but he didn't want to take any chances. Eric quickly started cutting the net that trapped the animal. He expected it to swipe at him or at least panic. But as he stared into its eyes, he felt empathy. The animal knew that he was only there to help. Eric could now tell that the animal was an anteater, they didn't belong on his land, and he knew his dogs would make short work of it. The anteater never ran away. It let him pick it up and take it to his buggy. He was astounded as it clung to his arm as he drove away from his property. Eric couldn't believe that the animal was letting him do this. He thought he knew a lot about animal behavior, but he was wrong. This was a life-changing experience that he would remember forever. It was just a little further down that he wanted to take the animal. He knew the perfect spot where it could thrive. Finally, Eric arrived at the perfect spot to drop off the tiny anteater. It was a small body of water surrounded by trees where it could eat as many ants as it wanted to. The animal seemed to understand and dashed off of his arm. It ran to a nearby tree across the water and didn't look back. Eric knew he had done right by another animal and would never forget it. 